change has to happen. Reforms within the Catholic Church have exploded in light of Attorney General Lisa Madigan's new investigation. Good evening, I'm Ty Bateman. Jennifer and Paul have the evening off. Just days ago, she claimed Catholic churches around the state of keeping secret the names of at least 500 priests accused of sexual abuse. Today, victims personally went after Bishop Thomas Paprocki and the Springfield Diocese for their roles. WCIA 3's Raquel Martin is live in Springfield. Now, Raquel, two people actually spoke out today. That's right, Ty. And studies show that the vast majority of people who are victims of clergy abuse don't come forward. So it's no surprise that today's press conference was a small one. But the two that came forward said they're speaking on behalf of dozens, fed up with the bishop's inaction and inability to stand up for victims. Rocky is doing what bishops have done for decades, which is put out the very least amount of information. Springfield Diocese Bishop Thomas John Paprocki is now in the hot seat. Just days after Attorney General Lisa Madigan revealed he and five Illinois bishops kept secret up to 500 cases of clergy sexual abuse, victim advocates demand answers and action. The fact that there are dozens, if not hundreds, of priests in Springfield who he's not revealed and, and, and been transparent about, um, he's just lost all moral credibility in my mind. John Frimmel's been part of the Springfield Laity since he was a child. He heard about abuse then. I do recall um, several um, uh, people in my past who were accused of abuse, abusing other people. He says he also knows victims. In those cases, the priests were removed and disciplined. Their names are now featured on the diocese online list. Last month, each of the six dioceses published a list of credible abuse cases at the request of Attorney General Lisa Madigan. But David Clossie, a volunteer with SNAP, a support group for victims of clergy abuse, says a simple Google search and you'll find dozens more. But these four men are missing. We think even if these six names are added, it's still not going to be a complete list. They're calling on the diocese to release more names and more details, explaining where the accused men live now and a photo. He continues to keep secret about key information that could help uh, help parents protect kids. Fabrocki says the church is fully cooperating with Madigan. In a statement, he argues the decision to withhold names in the past was done with the virtuous intent to protect the faithful from scandal. In response to today's press conference, a diocese spokesperson says that only substantiated claims were included on that public list, and they remind everyone that priests are included when it comes to it being innocent until proven guilty. Now, Attorney General Madigan's investigation shows that only claims that were uh, made by more than one person were actually investigated, and in total, only 75% of claims were investigated.